Hi everyone, my name is Kaylee Nichols and this is my second career profile. This time I chose to do marriage and family, to become a marriage and family therapist, which is something I've really thought about before my own career I'm going into. Um, pretty much the working environment is usually, you can be part-time or full-time, um, but a part-time Marriage and family therapists will work for um, 40 hour, around 40 hours a week, and their schedules can vary to be flexible to their own um, to their own schedule, so they can make appointments as they wish. But most families, family therapists will um, sorry, I lost track of my train of thought. Most family therapists will have appointments later at night so that they can help make it possible for marriages or for couples to be able to um, be able to make it to those appointments because most people work and so they have to usually have later hours than most people so that they can help make it possible for families to meet. Um, some stressors that I noticed were you have to try and figure out what's the under the core of the emotional problem or the issue and sometimes there's a variety so you have to figure out which way to go and it can be a, it can be a stress because you don't know you ha there's just a variety of issues going on and so that can be a stress also you have to gain trust with your patient so that's difficult sometimes because there's some trust issues normally when you're going in to therapy. So you have to gain the trust of your patients that you have with you. Um, I also... So the typical benefits. I couldn't really find very well like the health insurance and everything. But for me what I put for typical benefits that I believe would be or the fact that you get to see the people that you're working with get past their problems like you're being able to see from the beginning of your first appointment till let's say a couple appointments later you'll be able to see that they are improving also you can help a couple get through um, something that they've never thought they were able to usually you can't fix the past but you can fix um, you can fix the future for them. You can get them to not be worrying about their past and just get by, figure out new ways to work through it. So that's what I put for my the benefits. Um, common job tasks tasks you're usually helping with emotional people get work through emotional issues that they've had in their life and haven't been able to do on their own. Um, you help them get through their past to have a better future. You work with depression. You work with post-matic post stress disorder. Sorry. And mental and physical emotion disorders. There's just a lot of things that you work with. You work with families. You work with couples. There's just a lot. Um, the starting salary for marriage and family therapists is... Well, the average is typically 45000 that you're going to make. Um, if you're in a more experienced group, then you can get up to $75,000 a year. But normally, it's around... Um, normally, you only make around 45000 a year, maybe even less. So, for the educational requirements, you are required to have a master's degree which they say to get into the master's degree program, you have to have a bachelor's degree in either um, counseling or marriage and family therapy or marriage and family studies. Other than that, um, you really don't need... You're going to have to have an internship, and you're required 2000 two. You're required two years or 3,000 hours of supervised clinical 
visits. So yeah, that's educational. Um, so yeah, that is marriage and family therapy, and that is what I figured out about this program. And yeah, I hope it's great information for you all. Thanks for your time. Bye.